What's up guys, Al from It's Android World here, today taking another Hero ROM look. This is a full ROM review and tutorial of Slick Willy Hero or Hero Over 1.1 R5 for the G1 and My Touch. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here's the lock screen. You got the completely transparent lock screen with the actual Hero throttle. I love that. I think it's great. You got the T-Mobile time and date. As you can see, I can down and up. It's very smooth and swipe down to actually unlock the device and the clock will readjust itself. It's quite nice, and um, as you can see, it's pretty dang quick, and that's always really good. Um, for Sense UI, I think fluidity is the biggest thing. Um, you have this amazing UI, which comes packed with some of the sexiest and best widgets, hand down, I've ever seen. And you really want it to be fluid and work well, and this Hero ROM does do that. Like, with all and every Hero ROM ever, um, Bluetooth does not work. But Wi-Fi does work, which is great, and I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, but it does work. I have my stock hero bar down here, um, application drawer, phone application, and the add to home screen. Um, with HTC Sense, you get HTC widgets. You get both bookmark widgets, which is pretty nice. You get both calendar widgets. You get all 12 clocks, which is just amazing. And you also have the default Android clock, and that's pretty weird. I actually did not click that so I'm surprised that actually selected it but you get 12 clocks here that you can swipe through um, which is really nice and you know the option to select 12 HTC clocks and the default Android clock is amazing you get your mail widget as well as your messages widget and your two music widgets um, you get your two people widgets as well with and um, there's also a photo album and photo frame widget um, there's your search widget, and there's also the default Android widget search on 1.5. There's some setting widgets like airplane mode, Bluetooth, GPS, mobile network, and Wi-Fi toggles right for the home screen. Twitter, there's two Twitter widgets and three weather widgets. So the fact that you can choose between all those is amazing, as well as the default Android widgets, which is where any widgets that you download from the market will as well go. So I downloaded battery status free. So if I select it, it'll place it on my home screen. But as you can see there's some lag there and like all hero rounds you ever get there's always gonna be lag because hero is not built for the G1 um, and so you guys know I do not and will never recommend a hero ROM for daily everyday today use um, Bluetooth does not work it's 1.5 so you do not get um, the navigation feature in maps or anything like that um, hero is just basically a toy to play with on your phone and this is actually one of the best toys I've seen it's very very smooth and quick um, the notification bar is not transparent I guess if that bothers you this is not the hero ROM for you but it is a really really nice hero ROM um, it also has a pretty decent wallpaper gallery it's pretty much the default wallpaper gallery actually we'll go ahead and display this full screen for you and just jump through some of the images not all of them to save some time but it is a pretty nice wallpaper gallery and there are some some a few nice images and if we see one we like we just hit set wallpaper and it'll instantly add it to our home screen and once again we can just jump right into being nice and fluid opening up applications is as well pretty quick um, even the application drawer is nice and fluid um, the camera and camcorder application do work and I don't know if it's on right now or not Alright, there it is, and you can't really tell anything, but yeah, the camera does, <laughs> the camera does work. Um, my room is pretty dark right now, so you get a great contrast on the screen, but the camcorder and camera do work, which is always nice, and opening up applications is pretty quick. Let's go ahead and open one up. We'll open up Messaging. So it jumps open and then loads it, and you'll see Compose New Message right here. Um, and of course, you get the HTC IME keyboard which if I open up is right there and this is hands down the best Android keyboard ever um, it's it's just an amazing keyboard and it's really really great 
um, the browser as well works and I do believe it has flash content and multi-touch and everything so let's go and test that out we'll hit menu alright there it is we'll tap on this and we'll go to a website addicting games addicting games dot com and we're gonna I think I spelled that wrong addicting games and we'll go to that site you guys probably know that it's one of the best websites for online gaming and that little green progress bar right there is the actual loading bar that lets you know how fast the web page is loading and as you can see it's actually a full screen web browsing experience like all hero roms which is pretty nice and we'll just click any game but as you can see it's actually fluid it's uh, quite a fluid browser you can just flick through everything and it does move quite fast and smooth you got multi-touch which again is actually done quite well um, not up to par with the iPhone but as you can see it's actually really good if I tap on anything here I get the progress bar once again and auto rotate on the home screen I mean on the browser is here go on and take a look at it there it is and again my G1 is sideways if you don't see the keyboard and everything so I actually have no idea what I hit so I'm not sure if this will work or not but let's go ahead and get a full screen and see if it does we'll zoom out some And I'll cut some of the loading time right now. Alright, so as you can see, um, the flash content does work. And you can just flick through it as it's running and everything. So, um, let's go ahead and see how you get this Hero ROM on your phone. You pretty much know how Hero ROMs operate by now. You're going to want to mount your G1 to the computer. So open up your USB door and plug in the cable to the bottom of your phone. Followed by swiping down the notification bar, tapping USB connected, hitting mount, and going to your computer. Also, you need an EXT4 partition. 128 megabytes Linux swap partition and FAT32. Now that we're at our computer, go ahead and open up your G1 and delete any file that's on there. And then you're going to drag over the Slick Willy Hero ROM onto the root of your SD card. And that's the only file you're going to need. And I do believe you need the Danger SPL or Death SPL, which is what I'm currently running. Um, I have the Death SPL and the latest radio on my phone. Um, and if you guys don't know how to get it, I will update a new video for you guys because apparently the Danger SPL video, a lot of people stated you needed the radio while um, my phone didn't, but I guess some people's did or something like that. My phone, I never updated my radio ever and it still worked without getting bricked. But once the Slick Willy Hero ROM is copied over to the root of our SD card, um, and it's a 79.3 megabyte file transfer, you guys know to safely eject your phone from the computer and then go right back to your phone. And now that we're at our phone, unplug the USB cable and wait for the preparing SD card logo to go away from the notification bar. It'll pop up right there. And there it is. And once it's gone, power off your phone, which is simple enough. Hold down the end call button, tap power off, and hit OK and let it shut down. Then turn the phone back on using home and power. And the phone will boot up to your Almond Raw recovery image. Hopefully you have 1.5.2. And once again, you need your SD card partitioned. And if you don't have it partitioned, you can watch my tutorial on how to do that, which will pop up right here. So just watch that tutorial and then come back here and do this step. So now just scroll down to wipe and full data wipe your phone. Jump back and then just flash um, the Slick Willy Hero ROM. And I'll get back to you guys when it's done flashing. Alright, and hopefully by now you know to just reboot your phone and wait for it to boot up. Alright guys, and once it's rebooted, you'll have officially flashed the new Hero ROM. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, rate the video 5 stars. Comment if you need any help and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys later.